my beautiful people, my beautiful patriots. Repeat after me. <laughs> Not a dime. I hope everybody is blessed, well, healthy, and that nothing but the best is going on in all you beautiful people's life. Before we get into today's video. Breaking news just coming into CNN right now. Attorneys for former President Donald Trump <coughs> say they're unable, unable to get a bond to pay the $464 million fraud judgment, calling it, I'm quoting now, a practical impossibility. See, that's Kara Scanella joining us from New York right now. Kara, what can you tell us? Uh, what? Not a damn. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so this video was sent to me in the email uh, last night. And um, I got to go through the comment section. And come to find out, you guys, there are a lot of haters in this comment section, man. A lot of haters. Y'all, I'm going to leave the link down in the description box down below if y'all to go check this out. Y'all probably already seen it. But, man. And then there's people that don't even know what's going on. <laughs> like, oh, man. Somebody go to the kitchen and bake me a hot pocket. <laughs> oh, man. You know? Some people like being a vegan, and some people love eating that bird. <laughs> but let's check it out, man. Uh, uh, you see the title. I'm not even going to have to go through all this, man. This is just look at the comment section. Just get Mexico to pay for it. 100K a day in interest is no joke. And uh, look at all these hate. It's just hate, 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 hate. He said he just needs to sell more hats. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm sending them out for free. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm sending them out for free. This one's leaving today. And I just emailed a couple of y'all back this morning. So check your email. If you've been reaching out to me, we sending them out. We sending them out. We sending them out, baby. Don't worry, because my beautiful patriots, 2024 is our year, okay? 2024 is our year. No matter, no matter all of the fraud and negativity and the so-called crimes, look, 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 man. We on top of the, we on top of this thing, baby. I love y'all, boy. Let's let's check out this video. Wall Street Journal. But we've been covering all this nonsense, all the corruptness that's been going on. We've been covering it, you guys. So join the channel if you are new here. Wishing everyone an okay life. We don't care what your skin color is, what you look like, what you smell like, where you're from, what age you are. On this channel, you are loved and accepted, man. And that's one thing we forget, man, to spread love to one another. You know? We wouldn't be in a lot of these situations to begin with if we could just spread love to one another, man. Pretty soon we'll all be dead and gone. Most people forget to realize that, man. We will all be dead and gone, man. We live in a very, very fast time travel, you know? I say this in a lot of my videos because I'm for real, you guys. I love y'all, man. That good old dollar sign. That good old currency, man. Uh, I'm wishing pay raises, salary increases, upgrades, bonuses, and all you guys' life, man. Yes, indeed. We wishing that to, no matter what your career is, no matter what you do for a living, I'm wishing a bonus, an upgrade in all you guys' life. Y'all claim that good energy, claim that love. Let's check this bad boy out, man. Billion dollars in legal penalties, an amount that's growing by tens of thousands every day. The judgment in his New York civil fraud trial represents one of the biggest tests of the former president's personal wealth in decades. He is probably going to have to liquidate assets, and I think it is going to put tremendous pressure on the Trump organization, and there's a risk that it all begins to cascade. And he's up against the clock. For now, he has until late March to come up with the funds. Otherwise, the New York Attorney General could begin to seize some of his assets. 
On March 18th, Trump's lawyer said he has been unable to obtain a bond to guarantee payment, despite negotiating with some of the largest charters in the world. So what options does Trump have to finance this mounting bill? We asked Wall Street Journal editor Peter Grant to break oh, down where the former oh. president's wealth stands today. We've looked at his business for a long time, and our best guess is that his net worth today is uh, roughly around $3 billion. Trump is under a lot of stress right now, but it doesn't compare with the kind of stress that he was facing during the recession of the early 90s. In 1975, we had a recession, but that was a picnic compared to this. That was an absolute picnic. Just before that recession, he was a lot more ambitious. Fellow, Trump had that money. He always had that money swig to the side, didn't he? <laughs> He always had that mullet swig to the side. <laughs> in terms of his business goals, and he was buying assets right and left. We got it out on time for you, folks. Okay, so we're going to really be a good competitor, and I think it's going to be a lot of fun. When the recession of the early 1990s hit, he couldn't pay his debts, and his empire began to crumble. He had to sell a lot of these assets, but even more, he had to put some of his casinos in Atlantic City into bankruptcy. He himself was on the brink of personal bankruptcy. Trump managed to survive the recession, and then changed his tactics. He started to leverage more his name, his brand. He would sell his brand to developers who would be building projects. They'd put the Trump name on it, but Trump wouldn't have the risk. One of the things that Trump has done to shore up his balance sheet in recent years is sell assets. Trump has numerous assets throughout the world. They're primarily in the U.S., the ones he owns. He owns resorts condos, hotels, and he has pretty big stakes in some big office buildings. The Trump balance sheet today is much stronger than it used to be. It has roughly $400 million of cash on it, and he's deleveraged by about $300 million, which puts him in the position of increasing leverage if he needs fast cash. Hmm. Those cash reserves are now in question as his legal troubles mount. On February 16th, a New York judge ordered Trump to pay $355 million in penalties, plus another $100 million in interest, which will continue to grow by roughly $100,000 per day. This comes after the judge found the former president fraudulently valued parts of his real estate empire to secure more favorable loans. The case this is a complete and total sham. It's a sham case. There's a liquidity problem fundamental to all of this. The likelihood that somebody has $450 million sitting around just is not possible. Trump appealed the ruling, but for it to move forward, he must secure the financing Get off the screen, get off the screen, get off the screen. In late February, an appeals judge rejected an offer from Trump's lawyers to post a $100 million bond rather than the full amount. <laughs> that decision is under review by a panel of appellate judges. Trump doesn't have too many options. He could put up the entire amount in cash, but doing that isn't easy. He can't deplete all his cash. He needs a significant amount of cash to pay the bills, so he can't. Y'all repeat that to me. <laughs> Not a dime. <laughs> Unbelievable, man. Poor fella, man. They do our president bad, don't they, y'all? They do. Don't, don't they do our president bad, my beautiful patriots? Unbelievable. Unbelievable, man. Boy, 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 I tell you. And I'm telling y'all, go look at the comments underneath this video. Y'all go look at the comments. Just go look at the comments. Go look at the comments. I mean, there's people that don't know what they talking about. People just pulling stuff up out they in the comment section, man. And again, a lot of stuff I can't recite because, again, I don't want to get in any kind of trouble or anything. But, oh, man. And use all $400 million. On the other hand, Trump could secure a bond that would guarantee payment if he were to lose his appeal. They're typically backed by cash, investments, or other assets. He could 
potentially borrow against those assets, come up with the cash, and just use that cash for the bond. The fees a company might charge for the bond could also prove costly. It's like any other instance in which you're securing a line of credit uh, of sorts, right? which is, you know, there's going to be a negotiation over what they're going to charge you for this. So I don't think this is, I don't think anybody thinks this is going to be an inexpensive bond. Trump has nah. until late March to post a bond. But in a filing to a New York appeals court on March 18th, his lawyer said he has faced insurmountable difficulties and that a bond in the judgment's full amount is a practical impossibility. We will seek, uh, you know, judgment enforcement. She wants to hunt down firefighters. It's not even funny, man. Don't worry, people are people are people are tired of this corruptness. People are tired. People are speaking up. People are booing. People, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Don't make me pull up that proud moment now. I will. I pull. I pulls it up in an instant. <laughs> Y'all know we pulls that up in an instant. Unbelievable. Mechanisms in court, and we will ask the judge to seize his assets. The AG has no interest in keeping it quiet. I think there is no question that if Trump is unable to secure the kind of undertaking that will allow him to stay the proceeding. Um, this is game on for her. Trump's lawyers have acknowledged he lacks <clears throat> the liquidity to cover the judgment. If the court doesn't intervene, they said that he might be forced to unload his prized real estate in a fire sale. He has three ways to pay off the judgment without selling assets. One would be through the, the available cash, yep. two would be borrowing against the assets, and three would be borrowing money from friends. The worst case scenario would be for him to start selling assets. He'd yep. have to sell them quickly. Buyers would have the potential of taking advantage of the situation, yep. and he wouldn't get the kind of prices that he would hope for. So that would be a, certainly a bad scenario for him. Even though some of these properties may be viewed as iconic properties, they may be worth a lot of money. There aren't a lot of people who are willing to spend that kind of money. A spokesperson for Trump did not respond to questions over how he plans to finance the judgment. His lawyer said in the March 18th court filing that obtaining cash through a fire sale of his real estate would result in irrecoverable losses. Trump cleared one financial hurdle for a separate case on March 8th, when he secured a nearly $92 million bond to guarantee a defamation judgment he owes to writer E. Jean Carroll. Look at, look at E. And we, and we did it. Y'all know we see y'all seen the video. Y'all seen the video. All my beautiful patrons, what all, all we can do is shake our head, huh? I tell you, boy. I tell you, man. Judgment he owes to writer Eugene Carroll. In the meantime, Trump's legal team has been focused on its appeal efforts. It's possible those proceedings could last a year or more. Were he to win the appeal, and, and in this instance, let's, let's assume win means the entire conviction is vacated, th then none of this matters. The only thing he would actually be out at this, this point, other than legal fees, um, would be the cost of the bond. The other piece that you always have to remember is these numbers aren't ever going down. They're going up and up and up and they will continue to go up until the appeal is exhausted. So assuming Donald Trump does not win on appeal, the number that we're going to see at the end of this is going to be significantly larger than the number we see now. And again, we're going to be right back here where we are today.
Like, like, look at the comment section. The sneaker sales just need to start coming in. It's just bad timing. <laughs> oh, y'all. Hey. Hey, man. Hey. Hey. All I can say is Trump 2024, man. That's what we voting for, baby. Go on, comment down below to my beautiful patriots. I know we're gonna have maybe maybe some haters in the comments. It's a lot of hating this haters in this in the, in the comment section. We know where it's coming from, you know. But hey, hey man, yeah yeah. New York, and New York is a complete mess right now. Y'all know we've covered that on the channel, and we're still covering it. New York is just a complete mess right now, man. And actually, a lot of people are leaving New York as. As we speak, tell y'all, man, nobody care about that pizza, them, the cheesecake of them bagels. Spider-Man ain't flying around there no more. <laughs> you know, Spider-Man ain't, they not shooting Spider-Man six or seven down there no more. I'm just being honest. Some of y'all be on here laughing, laughing away, but I'm being honest. But comment down below what y'all feel about this whole propaganda, man. Comment down below, man. I love y'all, and I'm wishing the best. In all you beautiful people's life, man. Spread that love to one another. You never know what somebody's going through in 2024, man. We wishing the best in everybody's life. I love you guys, man. God bless all you beautiful people. And I will catch y'all in the next one. Peace and love, y'all.